Corey Perry is a Canadian player whose NHL career has spanned four teams in 17 years and in recent history has become known as a massive curse. In the last three years, Perry has made it to three consecutive Stanley Cup finals and lost them all. And yet he's been named to four All-Star games, made the first All-Star team twice, and is the winner of a Hart Trophy. So what is the story of this guy and how did he get to be the most cursed player in the NHL? Corey Perry was drafted by OHL team the London Knights in 2001, where his rookie season saw him score 59 points in 60 games. In his second season, he increased this up to 78 points and secured his selection as the Anaheim Ducks' second pick, 28th overall, a first round pick that they had taken from Dallas. Quite famously, this is the same year that the Ducks drafted Ryan Gitzlaff, with whom Perry shared the first round and would go on to share a line for many, many years to come. Perry continued to play in the OHL for the London Knights for another two seasons. In the 2003 to 2004 season, he put up 113 points, continuing his newfound tradition of increasing his points total year on year. This was a tradition that just promised to persist as in the 2004 to 2005 season, he put that up to 130 points in just 60 games, over double the number of points he had in his first season and increasing his goals total by plus 19. It is said that the Anaheim Ducks were trying to trade their prospect to the Edmonton Oilers for Mike Comrie at the time, but that the trade fell through and thus he stayed with the Ducks. 2005 to 2006 season was Perry his first season in the NHL and he spent some time with the Ducks but also some time on their AHL affiliate which at the time was the Portland Pirates. Overall in the regular season he played in 56 games in the NHL. He was also recalled to the team for their Stanley Cup playoffs run and over the 11 games that they did play he went 0-3-3. It wasn't until his second season with the Ducks that Perry played a full NHL season and this is where the famous line of him gets love and Dustin Penner was put together. It was truly the beginning of a kind Kind of stardom that then persisted throughout the Ducks for many years to come. He went 17-27-44 that season and Gutzlaff, Penner and Perry respectively came 6th, 7th and 8th for points accrued on the team showing that they were all pretty much providing uh, a kind of equal amount of value to the team that season. Once again, the Anaheim Ducks qualified for the Stanley Cup playoffs, except this time it wasn't just a qualification. The Ducks made it all the way through to the Stanley Cup finals where they faced the Ottawa Senators and beat them in five games. The 21 games of the playoffs saw Corey Perry come away with a record of 6-9-15, which made him the number two point scorer for the team during the playoffs after only gets. In his first ever full NHL season, this prodigy had helped the Anaheim Ducks lift their first ever Stanley Cup. It's pretty hard to top that, especially if that's how you kick off your career, but Perry managed to keep piling on the personal achievements. Up to the 2011-2012 season, he kept increasing his regular season points total with each subsequent year, with 25, 44, 54, 72, 76, and 98 points. He also helped Anaheim reach the playoffs in every season in that time, bar the 2009-2010 season. Naturally, big results meant big bucks, and in 2008, Perry signed a five-year, 26.625 million contract extension, which matched that of Ryan Gitzlaff's from the previous year. His placement on the Ducks scoreboard was consistently at the top, and not once between 2008 and 2013 did he fall below second for either points or goals. And if he failed to make it to first in any of those, you could be sure it was because it was Gitzlaff. So still, the money kept coming in. In 2013, he signed an eight-year, $69 million contract extension nice, and adopted the title of alternate captain to adorn his jersey with an A. From just being an overachieving OHL player 12 years ago, Corey Perry had become one of the top 25 highest paid players in the entirety of the NHL, a three-time NHL All-Star, and a star player for a team that had considered trading him away before he'd even begun. But it wasn't long before Perry's performance started to sink. In the 2015-16 season, he scored 34 goals. In 2016-17, that dropped to just 19, and the following season after that, it was 17. Anaheim still managed to make it to the playoffs in all three of these seasons, but in 2018, Perry failed to even put a single point on the board in their four playoff games. It seemed that that fire that had always been lit in him was starting to dither. In September 2018, Perry received surgery for a torn meniscus and MCL injury, and this was really the solidification into his downfall. 
He had five months recovery and at the end of the 2018-2019 season, Anaheim chose to just buy him out the remainder of his contract and make him an unrestricted free agent. But not everything was over. Corey Perry still had a career. He just may have picked up a teensy little curse along the way. <laughs> On his first day of free agency, he signed a one-year, $1.5 million contract with the Dallas Stars, the very team whose first round pick had been used to select Corey Perry in the first place. It was almost like the stars had kind of let Anaheim do all the hard work and the development just so that they could steal him away right at the end to use him for their own purposes. Now obviously this was a little bit messy because the looming pandemic started to interrupt things. Perry went 5-16-21 before the season ended prematurely, but he did help them qualify for playoffs, something which the Dallas Stars had failed to do for the past two seasons. And not just that, the Dallas Stars made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. Corey Perry has been cited as providing major key assists in their run and crucially got the game-winning goal in Game 5 of the final against Tampa Bay Lightning to keep them in the competition. However, they ultimately lost in Game 6, with Perry finishing the 27 games of their playoffs at 5-4-9, and nine, a redemption arc so nearly secured but failing at the final hurdle. After this, Dallas chose not to re-sign Perry. It was a controversial decision, but it was one that led to the next chapter in his career joining the Habs. The Montreal Canadiens signed Corey Perry in December of 2020 for a grand total of $750,000 for one year. Perry served on their taxi squad, but he did manage to get a bit of regular season play a little bit later on. It was kind of a weird season anyway, because the Canadiens were now playing in the newly founded Scotia North Division, which was basically just so that the Canadian teams didn't have to leave Canada during the COVID-19 pandemic. In 49 games, Perry went 9-12-21, representing an improvement on the 21 points he'd scored in 57 games of the previous season. And once again, he found himself competing in the Stanley Cup playoffs. The Canadians were the decided underdogs of the playoffs. No one really expected them to make a particularly deep run, but when you've got Corey Perry on your team, who knows, right? The Habs ended up defeating the Leafs in seven games, a result which upset a lot of people, but it ended up being the springboard for them to bolster their way into you guessed it, the Stanley Cup Finals. This was actually a massive deal, as Montreal still hold the record for the highest number of Stanley Cup wins of any NHL team of all time, but the last time they made it to the finals was 1993. So for them to make this ostensibly miracle run and get there in 2021, that was huge. Once again, Corey Perry found himself facing the Tampa Bay Lightning on the ice, except this time there was no amazing fifth game. Well, not for the Habs, because it was in Game 5 that they ended up finding their loss in the Stanley Cup Finals. The Tampa Bay Lightning were the back-to-back -back champions, and Corey Perry was starting to look like a little bit of a curse. You want to make it to the Stanley Cup Finals? We got your guy. You want to lose the Stanley Cup Finals? We got your guy. Perry actually reportedly wanted to be re-signed by the Montreal Canadiens, but they chose not to. And similarly to how it was controversial when Dallas made the same decision, it was basically the same thing here. So if you can't beat him, join him. Corey Perry went along and joined the Tampa Bay Lightning. This was literally the team that had stood in his way for two seasons in a row now. This man wanted his redemption arc, his former glory. It had been so long since he had won a Stanley Cup Finals that he probably forgot what that metal felt like to kiss anymore. He'd come out of his downfall with the Ducks to help two more teams reach that final stretch and had failed to walk away with a championship both times. So you know what? Screw it. Join the enemy. Tampa Bay signed Perry to a two-year, $2 million contract. And not only that, he also got to wear his A once again too. In 82 regular season games, he went 19-21-40. This was the highest points he'd gotten since the 2017-18 season with the Anaheim Ducks and the highest goal scored since the 2016-17 season. And guess what? The Tampa Bay Lightning made it to the Stanley Cup playoffs. And guess another what? The Tampa Bay Lightning made it to the Stanley Cup Finals. This wasn't too unexpected. It wasn't like the Habs getting there the previous season, although there were some shaky expectations here and there, particularly around the series with the Florida Panthers. There were a lot of people who wanted to see Tampa Bay make the three-peat, and there were a lot of people who wanted to see Tampa Bay not do that, but anything was possible, and it was right within their reach. And yet, they failed. 
the Tampa Bay Lightning lost the Stanley Cup Finals. This team, which had taken down Corey Perry's two consecutive teams the previous season, had absorbed him into their roster and paid the price for it. Perry himself went 6-5-11 across the 23 playoff games in which they played, marking the highest playoff points scored by him since the 2016-17 season with Anaheim, but it wasn't enough. Luckily for him, he's on a two year contract, so he won't be scrounging to find a new home in this off season. But with three consecutive lost Stanley Cup finals under his belt now, it is clear that Corey Perry has suffered a cursed existence. Whatever you think of him as a player, his attitude on the ice and his style of play, Corey Perry is an incredibly accomplished player of modern NHL history. To have achieved everything he did on the Anaheim Ducks and then go on and take three other teams to a Stanley Cup Finals even after experiencing career-changing injuries and a downfall, that's nothing short of impressive. That said, eating through short-term contracts and winless finals is a massive blow and a huge meme at this point. There is no denying that Corey Perry is the curse of the NHL. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the curse story of Corey Perry from his days as a little Canadian prodigy to what we know him as now. He is definitely a story worth telling. Let me know what you thought in the comments and maybe whose story you would be interested in hearing me tell in the future. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.